Welcome back, everyone, to some more Once Human Prime vs. Clash. Today, we are picking up where we left off. We've got the uh, gear workbench finally built. So I'm going to try to craft this weapon and armor and then see where the, the story takes us. Um, last time, we did join the Rosetta faction. So I don't know. We haven't done too much other than go, go over to this area, uh, clear that out, and then now we're just trying to, I guess, prep to do some pvp um as always if you guys end up enjoying this too leaving likes really help out a ton appreciate all the support so far uh and on the previous series of once human but let's see what we got here because we're gonna have to get this set up um can we actually build this uh yeah you can build i, I always forgot you can build like a tier one version of your weapons we need more bronze to build this, though. Yeah, we don't have the materials for the rest of this stuff yet, though. So. Um, do I want to go just... Yeah, this is still my best weapon. Because it, you can see it's got the three stars. So it's my highest one available right now. I think we'll stick with that again, even though we're going to be going into PvP for this. And funny enough, I brought my previous one, too. Do you like to transfer the spreading marks? Yeah, we can transfer that over. Uh, I brought the previous one that I had available, so I guess we'll see how that's going to work, too. Uh, we need to hunt animals. Shoot. Yeah, we don't have the materials for these. Okay. Let me actually do that real fast. Let's claim all these resources here. And then we'll go hunting real quick so that way we can craft this next piece of gear. Wait, we're at 97%? What are, what are we missing? Is it like a window? Wait, what? Oh, I think it was a back window. No. Maybe it's a front window? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's this window right here. We need glass for that, though. Okay, is there any deers nearby? Or any deers? Any deer nearby? <laughs> oh, boy. It's been a long day so far. All right. Let's get these. I'm sorry, I know, I know. Still feel bad. Are these donkeys? Oh, it's a fawn. I mean, as long as we get some raw hide, that's all we really need. So, where'd the other one go? Oh my god. I'm sorry. Clip steer. Wait, I can probably, yeah, I was going to say I can probably use this instead. Probably would be more fitting, too. I feel like doing some sniping in online would be kind of cool. See how that goes. All right. Once we finish this one, we'll see how much rawhide we got. Seven? That's it? Really? Man, it takes a while. Oh, one right here. Feel bad. Plus two. I love how we got plus two from the fawn. And not like the, the grown one. 
All right, we'll just get like two more and then we're good. This headshot. How does this thing survive? Okay, we got ear meat. And one more. And we should be good. We got some deer milk too. Huh. I, I'm assuming the wolf, corrupted wolf, doesn't give you any. Oh, it does give you raw hide. Collect this. New cradle override feature unlocked. Yeah, we're leveling up pretty fast, so I still need to equip the other one too. Armor crafting. All right. I, I don't know what to begin with, so I guess we'll go with the chest piece. We don't have enough for this yet. Yeah, we need all-purpose plastic. So we'll go tier one. Heavy chest piece. Honestly, having all of these tier one would be really good by themselves. Especially for PvP, I feel like that's kind of... Hey man, I don't know. <laughs> I'll take it though. We got a full set at this rate. And final one, we need to make glass. Glass in the furnace. Like, make 99. Okay. You check season goals here. Claim that. Place. Wait. Five furniture. Oh, okay. Cook five dishes. Yeah, I got to build some crates here. Large crates are probably my best bet. Let me see what we have available to unlock, actually. Go bronze crafting. Can't go wrong with that. Bronze pickaxe. Surprisingly, the synthesis bench, I like never use. Basic gear, advanced ammunition. Probably would be a good idea, but let me see over here first. Yeah, let's get a stove. Dishes. Planting, air drying. Air drying, I like never use during my first playthrough. Gear storage, kind of same thing. The garage is probably worth. I think they definitely level you up faster in this. So that way you can get into PvP. Because I wonder if there's like scaling or anything like that. All right, uh, I'll save my last points just in case. All right, we got to select two. So Rosetta, gathering drone, firepower drone. So being Rosetta, we're able to use a drone special ability. Uh, but I wonder if you just have to, it's a new formula. So you still have to craft it. Can be summoned at any time. If the player hasn't reached their load limit, the drone will automatically seek out and gather the highest level minerals nearby. Mid-range shooting capabilities. Exploration. It can replace V for a special gliding. The special gliding has no takeoff height limit and doesn't lose altitude during flight. But stamina consumption is greatly increased. Oh, so you can use it for traveling. Interesting. When the territory unlocks long range shooting capabilities. Okay, I think I'd rather go for honestly firepower. Gathering sounds kind of cool too, but if we're doing PvP, I'd rather go firepower. Super refinery. Transfer acid into portable mixed fuel more effectively. Explosive stack. 
Increase the dur durability of traps and rifle turret. Doubles the shelf life of dishes you cook yourself. Explosive sack. When in your backpack, there's a 60 to the 30 to 60 chance to salvage explosive compound after using high explosive grenades. I think I might go for the food one. Or this? Let's go for food. Specialization, none known. Blueprints. More journeys complete here. Claim that. Also claim these. Tell Mary that you are ready. All right, let me make these crates real fast too. Uh, I'll put them right next to my like bed. Oh, one more here and here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we need rubber. Let's merge. Pause it. Merge. Do we have the stove yet? No. Charcoal. We need more charcoal. Hold on, let me let me try doing this real fast. Just to have some food on at the ready. Just need wood for this for logs. Definitely bringing this in will make it a lot smoother <laughs> of an experience. Look at that. We're almost at a thousand already. Okay. And we're good. Now I'm just going to queue it up, make a ton of charcoal, let that run, and we will go inside. Make a ton of charcoal. Uh, do we already make any glass at all? No. Oh, I see. I could have just bumped this up. I didn't even look at that. Holy resources. Jeez. Okay, so four is my heal, five is a heal, six is a Molotov. Oh, wait, no, six is a drink. We need to eat real fast. Just getting all prepped and we also need to swap here. I'll hold on to this weapon for now. I don't have a headpiece. Throw this on. Whip, yes. I will have to look at my gear again now that I made this stuff. Yeah, carrying over blueprints is kind of crazy, especially being able, like, if you upgrade your blueprints and just constantly keep going, that's a lot of really good stuff that you can get. All right, so we need to find which ones affect elemental stuff. Following attribute requires higher tiers to activate. Oh, I see. So you need to equip it on something that's a higher tier in, or in order for it to count. All right, so, well, in that case, it doesn't matter too much. It's just the primary ability. Like this, this will matter. What's this one? Elemental damage, good. 
weak spot damage. Do we have another one that's like elemental damage? Here we go. Shattering ice. Actually, I keep forgetting that you can do burn like this. Yeah, let's take this one. Yeah, you can sort it by what's on the left side. Copper, charcoal. Put that in there. All right, stove. Make some roasted meat. Make like 10. It'll last longer too, which will be nice because I'll have the other thing. Chef. Since I have that one ability, it lasts longer. I mean, Shadow Hound? I had two of those things sitting there. Corner table? Sure. You know what? Sure, we'll even throw this down. Just so I could get this. Cook five dishes. That'll be done soon. Own one weapon of calibration plus four. All right, this, this house is, I mean, it's its tiny, but it's, it's coming together. It's got the necessary items that we need. Make something on the stove. Boom, claim, claim. All right, let's go over here. I wonder if, if you have to take ammo and bring it in with you to like these events or if it just automatically gives you ammo. I have no idea what's going to happen or like how this exactly works. All right, Mary. My training is over. This is a surprise. I've never seen a rookie master survival in combat so quickly. Thanks. All right. You've been granted Rosetta V5 status. What's V5 status? Most of this stronghold is open to you, and all troops follow your commands. Most importantly, you report directly to me. Rosetta promotions are this easy to come by? Hardly. The process is typically strict, cumbersome, full of red tape. Honestly, the kind of thing I'm terrible with. That's why I stepped in this time. You're a special case. How far am I from your rank? Huh. It looks like we share an ambitious nature. That should help us work together more closely. Rest assured. There's plenty more I can offer. That is, just so long as you survive the battle ahead. It's time for you to join the fight. There's a motorcycle waiting for you here. It's yours. We need to contain the prism deviations. The okay. We'll show us where to find public crisis events and sproutlets. Prism deviations are the most important resource in Primeverse Clash. Securing them increases your faction's primers or prism energy. Prism deviations only appear in contest areas that have a chance to be found while gathering or fishing. Random events prism deviations are guaranteed to appear during season. During the season, you can check how many prism deviations are still unsecured today. The number zero, no more prism deviations will appear in today's task. So it's that number right there, I guess. In contested area, you can establish territory and place captured prism deviations into isolated securements uh, units to begin securement. After a while, secure prism, generate energy, and transform it to regular deviation. 
In the contest area, enemy faction players can attack your territory at any time and seize your secured prism deviations. Always stay alert. Prism deviations only exist in the contest area. If you carry a prism deviation into the safe zone, it will drop immediately in the contest area. In large random events, prism are guaranteed to appear. You can view the current random event, including your various events, cargo quests, and the bottom left of the world map. Okay. So now we need to successfully transfer a prism deviation in a contested area. So if we go here, prism de deviations available. There's nothing. <laughs> zero zero secure deviations what's this one obtain more prism energy from securing deviations okay so there's rewards rewards available let's claim all complete Oh, that's what that outfit looks like. That's cool. Okay. The reloading sounds sound really good. All right. So I guess I don't know what to do then. I mean, there's an events and stuff. But I also don't see the territories. Like, here's Black Bell. We could keep going to these. I mean, I guess it's the attacker's base and, like, that kind of stuff. Cliff Monolith. Oh, so right now, we are in the safe area. Oh, I see, I see. Right now we're in the safe area and we would need to go out into the other locations, but it looks like they're suggesting more so like level 25 and stuff for the outer areas. Securing deviations. Uh, that's all basic. From midnight to noon, buildings are under protection and takes 70% less damage from players. Huh, that's kind of cool. Mist Zone, the Dark Side, Dig to Hell, Workshop, Hell's Moving House, Cargo Conquests, and Securement Silos. So then this one would be one of those objectives, I guess. Let's go, let's go see. Uh, yeah, let's just ride our bike out of here. Uh oh, that kind of hurt my bike a bit. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let me select this. Put a marker on it and the marker went away. Nice. A lot of people are setting their bases around here. Is this the moving house right here? I think so. Let's go ball. That's crazy. I don't think there's supposed to be a car right here. <laughs> Unlock the treasure and then leave this place. I remember going through this house, though. Yeah, I mean, so far from what I can see, I mean, this is this is interesting, but I'm definitely more excited for the, uh, the next event. 
Rewards can only be com uh, completed once each week. Okay. Is that considered unlocking it? What? Last time I did this, there was like two things you had to do. But maybe there's only this. I don't see anything else to collect in here. Okay, yeah. I think we're good. My bike. All right, well, I guess we could go do another like industrial zone. Yeah, this is like level five. Get ourselves leveled up a bit. This is the 26 minute call out. If you guys are enjoying it, make sure you leave that like button if you haven't already. And let me know what you think of this. Uh, if, if you have been playing this new game mode or this scenario, let me know what your thoughts are. Are you still playing Mana Bus? Are you playing any of the other scenarios? Like what's, uh, I'm curious what everyone's up to. I think this game is still not out on mobile yet i thought they initially they said like sometime september and i know pre-registration is available but i guess it'll be coming soon enough or eventually nice level 12. yeah you definitely level faster in this game mode which is kind of nice Okay, there's the rift. Go over there first. We got one normal, uh, 12 normal enemies, one mystical crate, two armor crates, or one weapon and armor crate, and then go on. A rescue bot. Huh. I guess I never made a, I never made one of those things where you, you put a deviation in your backpack. So I guess it it isn't actually an event that you go into. Similar to what I was saying, it is open world. So it's I guess it's more traditional like rust and stuff where you're fighting for territories. So now that we actually have the strongholds, I guess we'll see how that works. Zaya haven't tried that at all yet. Oh, that's clear. Gar says woof woof woof. I do like this gun so far. Me too. Come here. Come here, you. Okay. Or don't. Yeah, that feels good. I like that. Okay. Gotta find the mystical crate. Oh, big guy. Kind of cool seeing players again finally I feel like the last few times i played this I, I would never see anybody running around but since it's a fresh server i 
a nice, nice experience to have again. gear crate got some armor pants okay we have to get inside there I, I think I kind of remember this place a little I like this thing. That's pretty cool. I never really used the uh, bold action during my last attempt or playthrough. Storage crate. Collect that. Still gotta find the mystical crate. Could be up here. Is that a gear crate? again oh. clicked out of it by accident the good thing here is we're gonna collect a ton of materials to be able to build up again get higher upgrades oh there's one shoot uh, gotta go around, go up and across. Oh wait, the elevator. Bring it back down. Then me up. Man, time really does fly. I remember when I was playing this game on stream, too. And time flies while playing it. It goes by so fast. I feel like I've been playing for maybe 10 minutes. It's 30 already. All right, we got that. Just need the mystical crate now. Jump down. Oh no, it's down there. Wait, let me in. Hey, nice. How do you do emotes? I forget. <laughs> nice. I don't even know how you do them. It might be like X. Oh, that's what it is. Back. Okay. Oh, then there's two more crates in here. The best thing about doing another scenario too, that honestly makes me excited while playing as one character, like all this stuff that we're collecting, these crates, everything that we're getting right now is giving us more blueprints to then use to upgrade other blueprints. So it's just like you're forever getting better and better and stronger because you can upgrade your previous blueprints or say if you get a blueprint right now that you really like and it's a weapon that you didn't have in the last scenario you did then boom there you go now you can start upgrading that one which just makes the base version even better and better i think as far as progression goes it's pretty good in that sense
Nice. We are good here. Uh, let's go grab this. This point. Teleportation thing. Honestly, we might just keep going. How do you get... There's some people talking about... How do you get a contested territory? I haven't seen anything or anyone yet. I'm going to have furnace upgrades. Same world. Think of it. Okay, yeah. I think that's kind of the point is you stay in this uh, safe area. You level up. So that way, once we you leave this zone, uh, things can get a little bit more. You can get shot at by Mayfly. Okay, nice. There's another evergreen right here. It's level six. Oh, there's an event. Cargo Conquest. Recommended level 40. The Prime Descent. Let's go to this area. It's definitely worth doing these still, though, because, like I said, it goes back to that blueprint stuff. I don't know which way to go. I should have gone up. Entered contaminated water. Drink this. There's the rift anchor. Playing this again, I know I've said it before in my previous playthrough, but it really does make me want to play like State of Decay again. Especially after just playing Dead Rising. The remake that came out. It would be a, a fun off-stream game. I love the dynamicness of, of those types of games. How like every playthrough can kind of be different depending on your characters that you collect or, or rescue and who survives and all that fun stuff. I haven't seen any whispers while we've been here. If I remember correctly, the, there's a thing right up here. Yep, there it is. This one I remember. Oh, there's two rift anchors for this area? There's the first one. Uh, actually, before I go over there. Yeah, let's grab anything we can in here. Any materials. something in the corner. Oh, there's a drone. Oh, this is gathering drone. I wonder if those have like more uses this time around. 
because that's the one thing I, I didn't like. Like, I wish it was more in the essence of the division. Jeez. Um. Uh, I wish the the turrets and stuff like that were more in the essence of division because right now when you craft them and it, it's not like their crafting stuff is cheap too like they're kind of expensive but right now when you when you craft them it actually makes you uh you can only use it like once or twice if it was a lot easier to craft then sure i I get it, but I remember getting the unlocks for them during the previous scenario, and I just never really used it because the craft costs so much. Collect this. Can I get in there? Wait, these things are out here in the open, too? That's funny. Alright, we just needed to defeat an elite enemy. Uh, and get the two rifts. And some more normal enemies, too. That's the first one. How large is this area? We need to find one more rift anchor. It's so hard to, I wonder if you leave the safe area, like if you can tell who's friendly and who's not. I hope there's some sort of indicator like over their head or something like, hey, this is a friendly. Because otherwise, you're just going to be shooting everyone that you see. And that would not be great. I was going to check that area, but I keep forgetting we don't need the... Does that count as the kills? No. I need to find the next Rift Anchor. I'm checking the skies. Oh, there's a boss. Throw a Molotov. Switch a gamo type. We're switching to steel. Nice. Holy. <laughs> I brought 3,000 rounds of steel with me. All right, let's collect this thing. Already learned this formula. Nice. Collect materials. Sounds like there's somebody up here. Uh, 
another storage crate. We still need more or normal enemies. The heck? What the heck? In Haven't I been killing normal enemies? Like what? Is this guy not considered a normal enemy? Um. Maybe the next one's over there. Not a normal enemy. That's not a normal enemy either. It's weird because I'm I'm still technically within the the bounds of this location too, because it says explore evergreen. If I wasn't then it would, you know, it would not be there. So, oh, here we go. Here's the second one. Cool. Let's activate this. And now we just need normal enemy kills. 12 more. Grab this. Exactly, Kiara, that's what I'm saying. There we go. <laughs> Maybe I just wasn't close enough. I don't know, but normally, uh, whatever, doesn't matter. <laughs> normally, if it doesn't say explore evergreen in the corner, then you're still, or like explore XYZ, whatever city you're in. Then you're out of bounds, but maybe not for this one. I wonder if that one will count. Or like this. See, these aren't counting. Huh. It's like only works in the areas that there's stardust. Thirteen. Oh wait, you know what I forgot to check? I know really random right now, but accessories. Yeah, I completely forgot to throw these on. Optics. Accuracy, magazines I never got. No more. Five more kills and we're good in this area. I should honestly just use my melee weapon. it is level 13 select this and let's make our way over there probably gonna have to fast travel back to our base soon I ran out of ammo for my rifle that I was using 
And then we also have, yeah. Go grab, go grab this teleportation area. And then I think we'll go back to the base real fast. Or actually, if there's one of those events nearby, we can try it. Okay, first of all, well, let's check this. We're not too far from Blackfell, so let's drive over there. And get that teleportation area unlocked, too. Forget what the honk button was. I was going to do it there. Oh, there it is. Beep. Unfortunately, we still can't listen to the radio, man. Ah, all because of Democus. Unfortunate. All right, let's wrap around here. <laughs> and while we're, sh we're recording here, yo, Alex, thank you for the sub there. Whoa. You guys look cool. Oh, let's see. Can I... Take a, you take a picture. Third. Action. Head honcho shivering. There we go. Nice. I need like a cross your arms thing. Go third person again. Look away again. Wait, what the heck? Did someone just like spawn in? Template? Oh, there's different templates? What? Kind of cool. Real time weather. Oh, you can also change the time. Depth of field. Um, Action, face the camera, weapons on. What happens if you do weapons off? Weather. There we go. Uh, 
That's kind of cool. I like that. One of these will go as the thumbnail. Do we need to talk to anybody here? Sebastian. Canning recipe. Where's the fast travel point right here? All right, let's use this. Go back to my base real fast. All right, here we are. Break everything down. Finally, we made it. The house is fully built. Do we have any other? Let's do. I don't know if I want to calibrate. Break down our resources again. Do that one more time. Holy dude. I have so many of these mods. Crazy. I select all. Try and shift. That nah, doesn't work like that. Unfortunate. Assemble. We have so many armor mod parts. Holy. Mod master, enhance any mod. Alright, so what do we have ammo wise? We need to make some more copper SR. Uh, that would be on the other one. I kind of want... Oh, what's this one? Pioneer. Shrapnel. Ooh. I could build one of these. We don't have bronze yet. And we still don't have that. I did upgrade it a few times, though. The Pioneer one. You know what? Let's build it. I'll equip it as my secondary. Nice. It'll still be effective, too, because I have everything else needed. All right. Um, let me actually do this. Can we make the heavy duty helmet at all? Yes. Equip that. Then let's not calibrate. Now I want to I want to break some of this down. I think the dogs outside are being crazy. Contains calibration blueprints I can All right, let's get rid of these. Like that. I haven't used this gun in a while. I like that. That's a good gun right there. Oh, black. You gonna try to shoot me? We're in a safe zone, brother. Yeah. So. What have we done so far? We've done this area, this area, 
we would have to go up north here. Get yeah, this one. This one's level eight. This one's ten. But then after that, that would be all the areas inside this territory. What do we have here? Both of these are level 20. Or, well, it's still level 20. Down here, contest. So, contest area is quite literally the area that you want to... That you're going to be fighting over. And then, neutral base, safe zone. Wait, so where's their base at? I wonder. Western Blackfell. So all of this area is contested too, still. Huh. Oh, Mayfly Base. So their base is down here. Safe zone. Here and here. Oh, that, that makes sense. Yeah. So Mayfly Base is here. Our base is up here. And then all in here is central, like, contest areas. Okay. Yeah, we're still leveling up, so it makes sense. But that is going to be it for this episode, too. If you guys end up enjoying this, leaving likes, again, it really helps out a lot. Join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. Uh, this scenario is going on for the next few days, so I'll try to record again. Uh, and we'll we'll keep it going. So. For now, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.